Hi guys, welcome to Casa Moncara. Come on in. Okay guys, so one thing I want to talk to you guys about first is the whole design and theme of the whole house. So I really like the boho theme. So we're going for more like a boho and then a little bit of farmhouse type of theme. So the first room in our tour is the living room. So one thing I really love about the living room is this cute little chest right here. So me and, ever since me and my husband have been dating, we always love taking Polaroid photos. So I'm like, you know what? I need to put some, I need to buy a little chest or something and put the Polaroid photos. So I found this cute little chest and we just decided to put all of our Polaroid photos in here. You know, whenever guests come in, they can always just see our, in a way, in our story. <laughs> so I absolutely love that. And another thing I love is plants. So you're going to see a lot of plants. So over here, of course, I have some cacti, some aloe plants, which they need a little bit more sun, but yeah. And we recently just got this really cute plant right over here in the corner. It just adds more green to the room. So I absolutely love that. And I'm going to take a little spin on some of the things I really love in our living room. Uh, first and foremost, I'll, I love this little futon that we have here. Um, it's really just a great place to, uh, you know, relax when, when we, uh, you know, get home. I'm home all day anyways, but with our new entertainment center, um, our huge TV, and a little story about the TV, I have not had a TV um, in over five years. So when I spoke with my wife that we're going to get a TV when we move to this, our new home, uh, we had to go big. It's go big or go home. So the next room in our tour, guys, is our kitchen. So our first home, our townhouse, had a small little kitchen. So I'm so thankful that we have a bigger kitchen, as you can see. So... My favorite thing about the kitchen is this wicker basket wall. I have always wanted something like this. I love Pinterest and I would always see it in Pinterest. So that is my absolute favorite thing. Um, the next thing, of course, some more plants, you know, just adds more green to the kitchen. Then of course, these two little sugar and coffee signs. Again, I love, love, love signs. And then with our cute little burst here, every time we get our coffee in the morning. So love that. And again, guys, so not a lot of people are able to come in here. It's kind of like a little secret place. <laughs> they have to ask permission first to come in here. So we have our little snack cabinets. So all of our snacks go up here, of course, with these cute little organizers. Nothing gonna learn about us, guys. We love organizers, well, I do, so. <laughs> And then some more signs, of course, love signs. And then over here is our lip, uh, our laundry room. <laughs> so here is our laundry room over here, guys. So a couple things I love about our laundry room is these organizers here. Got these at five and below. So I really love getting really good deals. And then of course the wash and dryer. So backstory on that, we found that at the Facebook market for like $200, brand new and everything. So I absolutely love that. One of the features that we have in our home that you're gonna notice in every single room is you're going to see a big clock. I love, love, love. Clocks, but most importantly, I have to have a big clock. So we love this one. Uh, I love the look of it. I love that anywhere I'm sitting here in the living room or kitchen, I know exactly what time it is. And it's just something we really, really, uh, really just a huge standout decor in any type of room, much less the first thing you see when you walk in. Uh, we also have this from our wedding, no longer two, but one. So that's not changing. But I'm really excited to show you all my office, so come with me. This is my pride and joy. I've always wanted an office. Um, I just recently transitioned to start working from home, and it's been such a huge blessing uh, in disguise. And so I've got my uh, beautiful desk here. 
I try to keep a very minimal look, or I don't like a lot of stuff everywhere. I like it clean. My office has to be clean. Um, we have these two, uh, well, this is my new favorite plant right here. Brings green to it, brings life. Um, one of the great things I can do um, is I can open up a window and, you know, really just get some fresh air um, while I'm working here. Since, uh, you know, some days I'll be just in this room for 12 hours straight. Um, and this sign I absolutely love. Um, it's just a very simple reminder every morning when I come to work. Work unto the Lord. Work willingly at whatever you do as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. Colossians 3.23 really keeps me grounded um, as I'm doing my, my work here. Uh, one of the things we, we really sacrificed when we moved into this, uh, this uh, tiny home, as like people like to call it, is closet space. So I'm a person that really practices this idea of minimalism, only get the things you really need or you love. If you don't love it, get rid of it. And as you're going to see here in just a minute, my closet space is extremely tiny. I really, really only have the essentials. I've got my shirts, dress shirts, suits, my pants, my camera bag, and my shoes. And that's it. And honestly, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Would not want to do um, anything different. And I guess the final thing I want to point out is my piano. So I play music for the church uh, that I attend. And this is where I have to come and practice and do some jams or whatever, whatever the case may be. But I'll be in here for a good hour, um, you know, practicing sometimes. Oh, and one last thing. I'm going to show off my new bookshelf. It's just got some little key things that I really love. I got a dollar bill when I first started working for my company. And uh, I've never spent it, so that's always going to be there. I've got just a few little plants here, cactuses. I love this little piece here. Um, it, it, it's exactly one minute, and I just thought it was a really great rustic piece just to have on there, you know, in my, in my study or whatnot. Obviously, I have a Rubik's Cube, my MacBook, uh, some of my other books, my wife's ukulele. And uh, yeah, this is just something we really love. I have a picture of us here when we were just friends, actually, and end up being, uh, you know, kind of our engagement picture. So um, at this point, I'm going to have my wife, you know, show our, our bathroom and then obviously the master room. So right over here, guys, is our bathroom. So like my husband says, there's going to be a clock in every room. That's just something he likes for me. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> so we have a clock right over here. And then, of course, we love signs. So we have some more signs over here at Hobby Lobby. We got these. So love Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah. You know, I feel like a sign just makes the room a little bit it makes the room pop, so it's not just basic. I don't like basic guys. I like, you know, little pieces of art or whatever signs here and there. And again, another wickered basket. So there's going to be a lot of wickered baskets everywhere. And this cute little shelf, which I actually, I think these two are my favorite things in the whole room. Just because, I don't know, it's just something different, you know, <laughs> to put your towels in. So, yeah. And then we have the shower curtain, which I love too, with little ruffles and stuff. Um, yep. So the next, the last room in our tour is my favorite, my absolute favorite room in the whole house, which is the master bedroom. So some more signs over here, of course, love them. And another clock over here. So this is, you could, yeah, this is my other favorite part about the room. This clock right here, for our Polaroid photos, it basically tells our story throughout you know, the year we were dating or years we were dating and the other thing I love is this mirror so my husband got me this mirror as a wedding gift and I have always wanted a big mirror guys so one of my favorite things and then of course this is my area here so like my husband says we don't have a lot of space in our tiny home you could say so I'm like you know what? I want to use as much space as I can to store my stuff. So my headbands, my notebook and everything. So love that right there. Like 
like I've been saying, like a lot of things are my favorite things, but guys, I just absolutely love our home. <laughs> so over here, my husband has been the best husband ever, guys. He gave me the biggest closet in the whole house. So love that. Welcome to my closet, guys. <laughs> it's a little messy because I just brought my spring stuff in. So, yep, you know, purses. So with our drawer, backstory for drawer. It was not going to fit in our room. So I told my husband, let's just put it in the closet. It's still going to look, look nice and everything. So, yep. Love my closet, guys. Even though it's a little disorganized at the moment, but I'll eventually get around to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is our beautiful, comfortable bed. So as you can see, we really like a lot of gray and white colors. So I was a little... So when we got the white comforter, I'm like... I don't know how to keep it white. So I'm still learning how to keep it white, guys. So we have these cute little pillows that I absolutely love, too. And, of course, a little photo of us because who doesn't like having a little photo in each room? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us today on our little home tour. One of our uh, dreams is to build our own home. Right now, we're just renting, but we're making the most of what we have here. And one of the biggest things that we were looking for um, when looking for a home to rent was location. And this was the best location we could find. We got at a pretty decent rate. And it's a little tinier than what we're, we're normally used to, but ultimately um, a house becomes a home when you move in it, when you start decorating it, when you have people in it. That ultimately is uh, our number one focus here. So we really, really hope you've enjoyed this. Please comment down below on what was your favorite item? What was the thing that you wish you had in your home? What did you like, dislike about the home? Um, we're definitely open to suggestions here. We want to hear from you all. But thank you all for joining us for the tour of Casa Moncada. God bless you all. Be safe during this time.